All right, well, we're going to get things started here with Dogger. Uh, Dogger, first of all, congratulations on the win. Just how's the team feeling now that the, the club's advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time ever? Uh, it's an amazing feeling, I can tell you that. Uh, we're just celebrating in the locker room, and it's, it's amazing for everyone, and I feel like there's kind of a relief that finally we did it. Uh, and, yeah, it's just an amazing feeling. Go to Austin, then Michael. Dagger, the team's coming off a, a bit of a break with the international window. You were with Iceland. A bunch of other players were with their uh, respective countries. You come back, and it seems right out of the gate, you guys are starting to go quick, firing on all cylinders. What was kind of the mentality heading into the beginning of the game just to kind of set the tone? Uh, we knew that they were a team that beat us twice in the regular season, so we wanted to venture that a little bit. We felt like uh, we sh needed to come like guns out blazing and just full out uh, from the start, and I felt like we, we did that because last game against them, they scored two quick goals, so I felt like we were ready, and, and from the beginning, I felt we were, we were quite solid. Michael? Tiger, thanks for your time. Um, just curious, that this is a team that it's been built as a rivalry since they entered the league, uh, but Orlando hasn't had a, a lot of success. Now you've got a playoff win over them to knock them out of the postseason, keep your, your season alive. What does that mean to you? To, to does, Is there a little extra in that to, to knock a rival out of the playoffs like that? Yeah, of course. It's it's always an amazing feeling, and, and they have a, an amazing team, and they've been doing a great job. So we knew it was going to be a hard game, and... and it was going to be hard until the end. So I felt like we started the game and the first half really good, and they took over a little bit maybe in the second half. So, so yeah, it's an amazing feeling, like I said. Go to Zach in the back. Dagger, I know you guys aren't done yet. You still have goals you want to accomplish, but I'm sure you guys watched the Pride win it all last night. Is there just something in the water right now in Orlando for these professional soccer teams? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I mean, they, they did something that we really want to do, so it's something that we can look at and say, well, this is what we want to do, and we've talked about everybody. Everybody want to do the same things, and I think just everybody are maybe on the same page, which is a great feeling, and, and, and you can feel it from the city and also the atmosphere now, like a full stadium. It's, it's such an amazing feeling, and, and, and I'm blessed, actually. Other side to Shane. Uh, the way you guys started off the, the season, I mean, honestly, you weren't very good at the beginning, and you guys really worked through it. What does it say about the team? And, and the not give up and to keep it going, and now you've reached the finals. Yeah, we we knew it from the beginning of the season. Maybe we were kind of overthinking it, you could say. We were thinking that we were too good, and and it got us in the back. Like, we were not good in the beginning, like you said. And then, like I said many times, we just had a individual meeting, like everybody, and just talked about, like, what's the thing that was going so wrong? And I think, like from July, we have been one of the best teams in in MLS. So, so it's it's really good that we turned it around, and now we're just gonna go all the way, hopefully. To Brandon in the back. Hey, what's going on? Can you talk about you guys' defense tonight? Seemed like it was Fort Knox out there. Yeah, we. Uh, I mean, we have been together now for almost two years. All of us four, so. I feel like we started to know each other well, and, and there's some things that we need to need to fix here and there, but I feel like we are glued together a lot, and, and, and I feel really comfortable in this defense. I'll go last one with Mike up front. I wanted to ask you about your relationship with Faku, um, playing in basically on the same side of the field. We saw you guys earlier today, or earlier this week, uh, basically training apart, kind of just running some drills, uh, just you, you, just you two apart from the rest of the players. But how I guess that relationship has been um, between y'all in, in regards to just dominating that side of the field, and and not only that, just kind of impacting the rest of the the team, and as well as uh, usually impacting the game as well. Yeah, I feel a strong connection with him. Uh, he is probably one of the best players I've ever played with and I feel like my job is of course to defend and my job is to push him to get him into good position to get him where he's supposed to be to score goals because he is our main player he is our guy and my job is basically just to defend him and, and try to help him as much as I can and, and of course I can try to score and do assists and stuff like that but I want to try to help him of course the team as much as I can and and, and it's worked since since I came so so it's good.